friends, strangers, internet. My name is Emily Hamham. I love colorful makeup and colorful language. I am in a new location. My lighting might be a little sus and might continue to be sus throughout the video, but it's all for the better and I hope that you are down for a little change. Now, let's get into the good shit. So, I'm back today with new makeup nonsense bingo. Yes, we are back. I am back. There's a whole community playlist of people for you to go watch if you are looking for other people that partake in new makeup nonsense bingo, some of which who are uploading today as well, and others who have just uploaded any time in the past and any time in the future, which means that you have an excuse to go look at the playlist, I don't know, every day? Every day. So, if you are new here, New Makeup Nonsense Bingo is a game that I created, yes, my little humble brag of every video, and it is one part will I buy it, one part anti-haul, one part bingo game, and one part drinking game. And y'all, the sparkling wine is back. Because this week, like two weeks ago, we have a smaller collection of releases. I'm going to follow in the footsteps of my friend Teresa and just go through everything. And I'm working on my bingo card for y'all as you're watching, but I am not going to be worried about the bingo card tonight. So maybe you want to put some bets on when I might hit bingo based on the amount of, you know, products you might see. I don't know, whatever. That was really annoying because I am very out of practice. So cheers with my lipstick colored wine. Worth the wait? Yeah, you could say so. So the oldest release in the folder is this Core Cosmetics Collection from Spectrum. Okay, so Spectrum, I believe, only had blushes previously, and they're releasing the Pinch Pot for $25. It's cream blushes for freshly pinched cheeks with a balmy skin-like finish, the Dark Matter Mascara, the Glowful Mist that illuminates and hydrates the skin with glycerin, hyaluronic acid, pink grapefruit extract, and then the Glowful Primer, the oh the primer the mist and the blushes are all $25 the global primer has a champagne glow a gel like formula with hyaluronic acid and glycerin and more pink grapefruit extract so um I I'm going to say okay first of all the global mist I have absolutely no desire for uh the glowy primer is always tempting lately but I need brands to start releasing more than one color if they're gonna release glowy primers. But these pinch pots, these pinch pots. I know I'm supposed to think that it's cute because it's like has the like soft millennial pink rounded cap. Part of the packaging because of the mention of cheeks kind of gives me some, some uh, peachy butt cheek feelings. But it also gives me like a boob, a little too perfect of a boob, but boob vibes. And while both of those things on feminine forms do make me quite happy, by the way, happy pride, y'all. Um, I'm, I'm good, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's really it. Like, um, I don't know. Uh, ugh. Mm. I just, um, yeah, literally nothing. <laughs> uh, well, my feelings change quickly. KVD is releasing a new eyeshadow palette. Uh, it is the Planet Fanatic palette. It has 14 shades inspired by, inspired by the earth colors and elements, eight matte shades and six glitter shades. Essence, is that you? There are moments when I really, really like acrylic packaging. And then there are moments where it's like, 
wow, that's the cheapest thing I've ever seen. And sometimes those moments coexist. Like, I can understand that there is a cheap acrylic packaging, again, on a brand like Essence, or Moira Beauty with the uh, flower blushes in the, in the clear packaging. But this, I think especially because the last palette had, it felt much more KVD to me, and it did feel a bit like the old Kat Von D line, but like I say that in a complimentary way. This just, I don't know, no. It's an Anne palette. It's definitely just a neutral Anne palette. But here's what I am going to say. If this ever goes on super sale, I might actually consider it because I've heard good things about the last palette they released. And while that palette was too neutral for me to pick up with the colorful tones, there's something weirdly tempting by just a all neutral palette with a range of tones to it. I know. Look, I'm not going to pick it at full price. <laughs> but on sale, maybe, maybe, depending on the reviews. But I don't know. Is it just me? Does this packaging feel super cheap? Does it feel very like teenage makeup brand? Which again, I'm not against. But not at the way community has been pricing things lately. Fuck you, Mac. Because I want this stupid pastel palette. So Mac has released the Botanic Panic Summer 2021 collection. There is a Botanic Panic Artistry palette. There are some extra dimension highlighters and blusher and lipsticks. Y'all know, or if you don't know, I love colorful makeup, but in particular, I am a bit of a, uh, I'm a bit of a slut for a pastel. And because there's like the yellow and the yellow green, and then the purple and the coral and the blues, and the packaging looks kind of cute. I want it. I do. I, I, I actually, okay. Well, okay, it's supposed to be coming in June on their website, but it is June. So, um, hold on, hold please. Okay, I'm not gonna waste time because the clock is click clicking, ticking, the clock. Okay, I'm not gonna waste time. I don't see it on the front page and the clock is ticking, but drunk me would buy the shit out of this and not drunk me might just say put it on the damn face. So I'm just gonna drink some more wine because I'm feeling slightly embarrassed but not really about my desire for this palette. So Glisten Cosmetics, they are a brand that I believe is based in the UK and they've been releasing lots of uh, water activated liners. They do a variety of different sizes and they do split pots and all of this cool shit. I've looked at their site a lot. And they've released the Pride Liner, which is a full rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I really like this. I don't know if I would pick it up, but I have actually been on the lookout for like a liner palette that has colors that I feel like are missing. Like I have pastel water activated liners, and I'm not even sure if I love water activated liners, but if I was going to get one, it might be this one. So not only do you get six colors, there's 50 grams of product. They are all UV activated colors. They're 26 pounds each per palette. And 100% of the profits go to an LGBTQIA plus uh, four charities profits. Oh, so they're gonna, they're gonna split up the profits between four different charities, but 100% of the profits go to the charities. Now there's a lot of rainbow washing. It doesn't even surprise me anymore. And I'm not gonna be like, oh, Glisten is changing the game. But like, I appreciate seeing 100% of the profits. So, you know, plus uh, a friend of mine to the beauty world, Sky, 
Beauty by Sky has a discount code with Glisten that is an affiliate code for them. So here's the thing is if I was going to buy from Glisten, right now might be the time because the profits can go to a good place and I can give a friend some money for all of their work. They do awesome, awesome graphic liner looks. Um, but anyway, I don't know if I want this, but I kind of want to put it on my face. So yeah, yeah. I'm still, the, the, the jury is out on, on water activated liners for me, but I'm still a clown and I want things. Yet again, we have a cream blush release. This time it's Luxury Bitch Armani Beauty. They are releasing the Melting Color Balms. They're multi-use color balms in nine different shades with, if I do say so myself, some really pretty looking packaging. Uh, like when you do different color components for the different color blushes, That was both me enjoying that concept and also letting some noise flow by because this is a noisy bitch. It's a noisy bitch over here. I am trying to, to pull back my cream product purchasing, like cream blushes, cream highlighters. I'm trying to pull her back because I have a lot. And I'm very curious, but I also know that those motherfuckers expire. So like, beautiful release. I do want it. It might come home to me sometime. But for now, we're just gonna end my from afar. Wait, 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 wait. Do they have a price? Um, okay. It's coming soon, around June, on their website and retailers. That is not very helpful, Trend Mood and Armani. I need dates. I need to plan for this shit. I got angry. I don't need to be angry. Oh, ColourPop is back with more random bullshit nobody asked for. This time, Ulta exclusive versions. So we have the Ultra, no, no, the Fine Feathered palette and the, wait, hold on. Sorry, I just blurred two different palettes together but they are actually two different palettes. So we have three palettes in total. We have the Lust for Dusk palette. There are 16 shadows for $24. We have the Fine Feathered palette, which is $14, with nine kind of like pinky, fuchsia, rosy shades. And then the High Tide palette, which is also $14, also nine shades. It's like aqua to, te to teal. It's like a teal version of their of their monochromatic nine pans. I I, I know I like color, so I'm biased. I don't even love turquoise super a lot on me. I don't know why, because I love it as a color. But I actually have to say, for their nine pans and for their monochromatic palettes, I think the teal one is kind of different compared to what they've done in the past. But the reality is that these Ulta exclusive palettes from having looked at new makeup releases for years now and having bought some of them, some of the Ulta exclusive ColourPop palettes, yes I did, I did buy them. A lot of them are existing things that they've done in their line, but just slightly different for Ulta. And it's not shocking. I've worked in like private label clothing world. I kind of, I can kind of grasp how it works, but like, it's not that interesting. But the high tide one, if you were missing nine teal shadows in your collection, might not be bad. Look, I'm trying not to just be a total gaping asshole to ColourPop. I don't know why I'm trying all of a sudden, but I am. And yes, I did say gaping asshole. Now that I've said those words, I think it's time for a water break. Available right now is the new Huda Beauty Glow Wish Collection. The name is smart because when I saw it originally on the packaging, I was like, oh, it's glowish. Like, you're kind of glowy. 
But then the way it's written in the caption, it's like, glow, whoosh. Fine, the marketing worked. There are the Glowish Multi Dew Vegan Skin Tint Foundation. $37. It's a fragrance free, light coverage skin tint foundation that brightens um, and leaves a skin, leaves skin with a dewy finish, waterproof and sweat proof, 13 shades. There's the Glowish Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder. There are five shades in that. It's supposed to be transfer proof, non drying, powder bronzer. Velvety finish, natural looking tan with subtle luminosity. And then there is the Glowish Airbrush Finish Skin Tint Brush, $31. There is the Oliver Bronzer Brush, it's $27. Okay, that was a lot of words for me right now. Whew, sorry. Uh, but not sorry, I don't know, whatever, a lot of words. Um, Marketing photos are beautiful. The marbleized finish on the bronzing powders. Okay, Huda. I see I see it. I finally see it. I feel like Huda Beauty has released so many things where I'm like, eh, it's pretty. Yeah, it's fine. There is something about the aesthetics of the marbleized bronzer powder that definitely draws me in. And from the swatches, I saw a couple of swatches from uh, a small creator that I follow. Maybe they're not a small creator. I don't actually know. But anyway, it does actually intrigue me. So here's the thing. I really want to just hold out for the Auric glow lust when it restocks. I do. I do. I want to hold out for it because there are so many factors of it that like make it, I want it. But, um, when I saw swatches of the, this glowish skin tint, I feel like they maybe achieved a similar like style without the same marketing and obviously this bottle looks cheaper and all of that stuff but if i wanted to try out like a glowy skin product that had a little bit more coverage this uh, this one is going on the list i i, I know i don't i I don't know, me and Huda, we just, like, there are so many releases from Huda Beauty where I'm like, you almost had me, but then you didn't. This one might. Like, uh, I feel like I should add a space on the card that's like, I would definitely buy this on sale, because that's how I feel. I would definitely buy the glowy skin tint on sale. I spoke too soon. I spoke way, way too soon. I called that KVD palette a total Anne palette, but Patrick Ta was like, hold my beer. So Patrick Ta is releasing this new eyeshadow palette. It's the first ever eyeshadow palette the brand has created. It's the major dimension eyeshadow palette. Let me actually read this description. A versatile eyeshadow palette that features both cream and powder formulas. Two luminous cream bases to prime eyelids before applying matte and metallic shades for ultimate color payoff. Velvety matte and iridescent metallic eyeshadows and glistening pearl toppers. You have 12 shades and a variety of warm and cool tones. I feel like my brain just broke. I'm, I'm sitting here swiping between the photo of the palette and the photo of the swatches. And then palette and swatches, and palette and swatches. Calling this palette the major dimension palette. Try again, Patrick Ta. Looking at the palette actually broke my brain. Is that the two colors that look the deepest are the cream bases. When I look at the rest of the, of the swatches and of the shadows, I don't actually see that much dimension. Obviously, this is not a palette for me as I am covered in purple eyeshadow from brow to under eye. But I, I, the name paired with the look of the palette is very give us nothing. Am I wrong? Me, y'all can call me out for being wrong. I don't feel like I'm wrong. 
But I'm also open to listening, especially when I'm not drunk. Okay, okay, okay. Jacqueline Cosmetics has a new collection. So it's a modern take on the ultimate cosmetic classic rouge. There are three luxe blush formulas and a lip cushion. So there is some loose powder blush. Fuck off with that. You and Givenchy can both fuck right off with loose powder blushes. Uh, there is the cream to powder blush stick. So the loose blushes were $30. The blush sticks are $22. The lip cushions are $18. That are rich, creamy color and blushing hues with an ultra lightweight blurring fish finish. Which sounds very like Korean beauty, but you know, everyone is taking those formulas and releasing them for the, for the like American market. So understandable. And then there is a six pan blush palette. It's the Rouge Romance Matte Blush Palette. It's $45, but the, it's the name. It's, it's the awkward, cringeworthy A-A-V-E-E -E, because the whole collection is the bad and rougey collection, AKA a spin on bad and bougie. The reason why my head hurts is that the blush palette I kind of want it. It's it's pretty. I don't need it, but it's pretty. But also, uh, <laughs> I um, I don't know. I have very strong feelings about this person. Not just the brand, but the person. And so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know. But the name makes me feel super fucking awkward. But it's not the worst collection. I think that's the part. Because, like, even the last collection from this brand, I was like, no, no, uh-uh, mm -mm. This one is uh, calling out to my blush slut heart. Uh, yeah, if I'm not careful, drunk me would buy the fuck out of that palette. I admitted it. I admitted it. Okay, I'm gonna try to try to make this one quick. Becca Cosmetics is still releasing products. Totally valid. Business plans exist. If you didn't know, Becca is closing in September, but I'm not surprised to see more products come out. This is the Pry 2021 Shimmering Skin Perfector called High Angel. It's supposed to be iridescent, one of a kind, with the best-selling opal shade that reflects beautiful iridescent, one of a kind light. As soon as I saw this, I was like, oh, all of those duochrome highlighters that they did not sell, that they had to take back. Yeah, they crushed all of those up into one color and then repressed them. Because the way the, the, the highlighter has that like slightly bruisey base tone to it just makes me think of all of those duochrome highlighters that they released that they were actually kind of ahead of the trend on releasing. I'm good though, because that color is, no, it's not gonna look like anything but a bruise on me. Morphe is back again with a release that also has 100% of the net proceeds going to an LGBTQIA um, group, the Trevor Project. Like every once in a blue moon, Morphe does something that doesn't make me totally cringe. So this is the uh, Live With Love palette. Now, I don't know if it was last year or two years ago, but they did release a palette that was actually, it was a pretty rainbow palette and it was the same format as this in terms of like the white packaging, the palette size. This looks like it's like a deeper, more jewel tone version of it. Uh, it's 25 shades. It's the volume two live with love artistry palette. And then there's an eye brush set and a hand mirror. The palette is 20, the brush set is 26 and the hand mirror is 12. Oh, and they're going to donate a minimum of $200,000 to the Trevor project. I'm just going to say it's not terrible. I don't, I'm not actually drawn to that specific palette, but of all the terrible things Morphe has done in their time, this is, this is not one of them. So 
good job on releasing yet another rainbow palette, making it uh, the kind of rainbow washing that maybe some queers can get behind. Who knows? So there's this new indie brand called CXC Beauty. They have released bronzers, the Refined Radiance Bronzers, in 25 shades, and they are $18 each. It really looks like they have done like a real range of colors. So there's like neutral, because there's N1 through N5, and there's R1 through R5, which I'm thinking might be red, W1 through W5, which I'm assuming is warm, NW1 through 5, which I'm guessing is like neutral warm, and then O1 through 5, which is olive. I am a blush slut. I'm not a bronzer bitch. But, like, this is the way you fucking do it. I really hope people buy these products. And I might buy one. I just... Uh, I'm not totally just, like, entranced by bronzers. But I'm curious to hear about the formula. And I feel like the range that they did... Like, that was commitment to be like, we are going to release bronzers in 25 colors. So I'm definitely into this. And I hope anyone that's watching that might be a person that enjoys bronzer will pick up one or two of these bronzers because, like, the color range does look really pretty. I just, I just don't my makeup dick does not get hard for bronzers you know what makes me super fucking happy seeing any brand release products that will fucking eliminate p louise from the market so glam light has released icing bases there are seven shades it looks like it ranges from like white to a mediumish tone I, I can't really tell the bases are ten dollars each and there are tons of affiliate codes out there for the brand. I do think that this is a really fucking smart move from Glam Light. And I have no complaints. Like, it's not a product that gets me excited. But it's a product that I think is pretty fucking cool for the market. I love actually seeing indie brands releasing products that will compete with a lot of the mainstream brands that have held tight in like their market. We have yet another ColourPop release and this one requires a refill. The Your Golden palette is the most fucking boring palette I have seen ColourPop release in a long time. I am not a betting person, but if somebody that was an insider at ColourPop told me that uh, they had a bunch of random pans of eyeshadows left over from other palettes that they were just trying to use up. That's what I would put money on. Give us nothing. Like, this is this. This. Okay, sorry. This palette is the epitome of give us nothing. Oh, Makeup Mario has released something that doesn't make me completely fall asleep. The Soft Sculpt Collection, Collection 03, from Makeup by Mario is uh, inspired by Mario's techniques and made super simple and modern for everyday life. Because if you didn't know, Mario is Kim's uh, makeup artist and made the look of super sculpted faces popular. Which, by the way, if you didn't know, was basically created by black people. And okay, okay, I'm not gonna go there. Drunk Emily, shut up! That's all staying in. Sorry, y'all. Anyway, there's a soft sculpt shaping stick. There's a blush stick. There's a bronzer, powder, and a powder blush and a highlighter. Um, and then brushes. So the, the sculpting stick is $28. So is the blush stick. Um, the 
bronzer powders and highlighter powders are 28 and the blushes are 24 and the double ended brushes are 28. I mean, when I actually look at the colors, none of them are like, oh, I want to take this home right now. But <laughs> of all the things Makeup by Mario has released, this one did not instantly put me to sleep. So cheers to you for that, I guess, Makeup by Mario. Oh God. The next two, the, <laughs> okay, okay. The next two products that are mentioned, we have the Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag, like redo, revamp, hold on, let me look. So Lunar Beauty replaced Life's a Drag with Life's a Drag Facelift, which has way more pans, but they are smaller pans. Here's the thing. This is the definition of a half neutral, half rainbow palette. And it's, Manny, you have done so many beautiful color stories and packaging that uh, if, if any makeup was gonna make me wet, it might be Lunar Beauty packaging. Yeah, I said that. And then you released this and I feel like you went back 10 years. What is this trash? You are better than this palette. Moonspell was better than this palette. Strawberry Dreams was better than this palette. Lunar Eclipse is better than this palette. You don't have to hold on to life to drive. Get dry. Give it the fuck up. Wow. I got real passionate about a damn eyeshadow palette, but what's new around here. But the other palette that is next is the damn Norvina 5 palette, which looks practically identical to the Norvina 4 palette, but they took out the pop of yellow and the pop of pink. It's a 25 shade palette. And basically it's half neutral, half purple. But mmm, I... <sighs> Okay, here's where I say I don't actually care about Norvina or ABH. I'm just fucking tired of these releases. Should I have probably turned on my overhead lights like uh, half an hour ago? Yes. But uh, my battery dying was the sign for me to finally turn them on. And you know, in the world of using kids to sell products, uh, a Kylie baby is happening. Oh, 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 that's a double hitter with this photo. Also, Ariana Grande has filed a trademark for her own beauty line, God is a Woman. Honestly, it doesn't surprise me. Even more cream blushes. I'm just gonna drink to that. But Dominique Cosmetics is releasing the Silk Tone Cream Blushes. They're $22 each. I like that price point a little more. There's three colors, soft pink, warm peach, and natural rose. I'm not particularly eager to pick these up, but I like the look of them in the compact. I like compact style cream blushes. You know, it's yet another brand that sold at Sephora that I don't care all that much about, but like, okay, you made cream blushes. Cheers to you. You know, there's always luxury makeup. There's always and forever going to be makeup on the market that I'm like, I want you, but not for that price point. Or I don't want you, and definitely not for that price point. But I feel like Valentino Beauty just came into the market and was like, oh no, you, you thought you saw expensive makeup before, but like, I said this once already, but like, hold my beer, hold my champagne, hold my martini, whatever. Like Valentino Beauty just came into the market to say, you know nothing, Jon Snow. So uh, there is a go clutch for $235 that includes, and it's, it's, it's an accessory makeup hybrid. It's smaller than an iPhone and can house a powder or bronzer and a mini lipstick. Then there is a double ended liner for $40. There's a $32 mascara, which Yolanda, 
that Surratt Beauty Mascara makes a $32 Valentino Mascara seem budget, maybe. There is a cushion in five shades. There is the lipstick for $55 and refills for $30. There are 50 shades in matte and satin finishes. There is an eye to cheek. Um, this $58. That's a mono. Oh, oh. <laughs> they basically made a blush that works on the eyes and decided to market it as a monochromatic makeup look and charge you $58 for each one. <sighs> okay. Loose glitter from Valentino. I've been talking enough and I feel like anything more that I say right now that's for Valentino not for anyone else this is a little surprising to me Lancome has finally released a Tante Idol ultra wear all over concealer it's supposed to be a hydrating lightweight full coverage concealer that brightens dark under eyes and covers imperfections without creasing or caking. They are $32 each and they are available June 14th in, on online Ulta and July in stores. Here's the thing. Oh, here's the thing because I'm burping a lot. The Tonti Doll Foundation has gotten rave reviews for years now. I kind of want to buy this concealer right this second because I'm curious and I feel like Lancome has is like late to the game, but I still want to, I want to try it. I don't know. I, 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 I don't even know if the Tante Doll formula of the foundation is even something I would like, but I fucking swear the YouTube brainwashing has worked. Jackie Ina alone, Tante Doll is like stuck in my head as an amazing foundation, but I've never bought it. And yet I see a concealer and I'm like, here's my money, take it. I was so hoping, I was hoping by the time I filmed this at least, that the Glam Light and Michaela palette would be released, would be revealed. Not released, but revealed. But... Michaela, oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be bad with the name. Um, Michaela Noguera, Michaela Noguera, who is very popular on TikTok, but also, I guess, popular on Instagram, um, has been hinting at a collaboration, and it was revealed that it is with Glam Light. It looks like it's a big palette, like the size of the cake palette or the ice cream dream palette, and Mostly it looks like it's probably just going to be a rainbow palette. Um, but there might be other makeup there too. I don't think it's going to be for me, but like I'm still nosy to, to see what it looks like. So a quick little note. Davina has a new release launching on June 10th, which is going to be between the time that this video goes up and before our next new makeup nonsense video goes up. And this is the uh, uh, Halo Moon collection. It's six new iridescent multichromes and they have released um, visuals on Esmeré and also on Marama. For me, I have a very soft spot for, for Davina, but I'm slightly unsure at how these are that different from their sugar drops. So we'll see. Part of me is like, duh, bitch, you're gonna buy them. But the other part of me is, is, is not quite sure. But anyway, they're launching on June 10th. They are launching at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And the bundle of six is $78, which is $13 a shade. And post their launch, they'll be $17 a shade. So that might be what gets me. It might be the reason why. I don't know yet. 
This is me desperately trying to say that I don't exist, but I... Also, I don't know if I talked about the, the Lisa Eldridge release, but Lisa Eldridge has released liquid highlighters, uh, cream blushes, new lip glosses, and new lipsticks. And, um... I mean, I want all of it, but, like, in particular, I really want one of the liquid highlighters, and I would take, like, all of the lipsticks because holy hell are those formulas nice. The brainwashing has worked. Oh, I'm kind of sad that the last product of the night is so boring. Tarte has re-released or has improved the Amazonian clay foundation and re-released it. It's feather light, full coverage without the cake, soft matte finish, smooth, smooth and blurs. Excuse me for saying smoothes and blurs because my brain. Um, it's supposed to be poreless looking, airy whipped mousse texture and infused with Amazonian clay in 46 shades. Now, what I am going to say when I read that description, I don't blame them for re-releasing it because um, the moussey formula makes me think of the KVD balm. And it makes me think of that because I've heard creators compare it to the old school Maybelline Mousse Foundation. The Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation might be similar. I don't fucking know. It's not a foundation for me. And to be honest, I am offended at the image of it mixed together with a whisk because... Bitch, I want cake. I don't want foundation. Fuck your foundation in a bowl mixed together with a whisk. Give me cake or give me death. Cake or death? Uh, death, please. No, cake, 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 sorry. You said death first. Ah, ah, ah death first. No, I meant cake. Oh, all right. Now that I have officially hit nostalgia peak, I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. I gotta stop. It's time. I gotta go. If you enjoyed this, if you like colorful makeup, a fuck ton of opinions, and cute fat babes in general, you should go and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, maybe take a look at my Patreon or YouTube membership or go find me on Instagram or Twitter or just leave me a comment telling me I'm already subscribed but I fucking enjoyed this. Because I am too drunk for this shit. Thank you so much to my patrons and YouTube members. Thank you to everyone that has uh, become my friend through this space. Because I wouldn't be here without y'all right now. And I need to stop talking because I'm getting super duper mushy. But y'all know who you are, and you might be watching. Don't forget to check out the community playlist, perhaps a shop, any of my affiliate links if you would like to support me further. And top of the list, things you must do. Take care of yourself better today than you did yesterday, because you are worth it. Bye, friends.